Hey, so tonight I'm going to talk about a uh, gold friend of the channel, Turkey Tom. You know, this fucking guy, this anime avi asshole. About a year ago I made a video talking about him and I suggested he wear a suit. I see he took my suggestion of wearing a suit. Really, really completes the douchebaggery look here. <laughs> So we're going to talk about this video here, YouTube Sponsors. This has probably been one of the more requested videos I've gotten. People have left comments about it, and I've received an email about it. I have an email address, by the way. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a thing. So, you know, if you want to, like, yell at me, you can do it through email. Anyway, in this video he's made, there's some Nazi shit. We're going to talk about that. Because, you know, Nazis are bad. <laughs> Hot take. We're also going to treat this video with the seriousness it deserves. We're gonna have a blast doing it. That's the best joke in the video, you can stop watching now. Let's begin. Hello and shalom my brothers and welcome to a very special episode of- I forgot that he actually begins with the Jew joke like this. Regardless, <laughs> let's not quite Nazi yet, Not not quite. Of the Tigger Tom Show. Today, I have a very special presentation Sounds for racist. all of you. A story, really. One of gaming, shaving, dangerous people pushing dangerous narratives, and my personal favorite pastime being a merchant, an accumulator of wealth to hide away from my fellow man. And look. Okay, hold up. That came real fast at you, but let's do that again. Okay, so real quick here, we have. And Shalom, my. Shalom. Him as a Orthodox Jew. Brothers, and welcome to a very special episode of the Tigger Tom. Tigger Tom, while showing a black Tom guy. Show. Today, I have a very special presentation for all of you. A story, really. One of gaming, okay. shaving, dangerous people pushing dangerous narratives. In my Dangerous people pushing dangerous narratives. Is that uh, cultural Marxism? And then we have Ethan. My too. personal favorite pastime, being a merchant. A merchant, because of the happy merchant. That's six. An accumulator of wealth. to hide. Accumulator of wealth. That's seven. Hide away from my fellow man and look down upon the writhing masses in shame. Is this like a King Solomon joke? I don't, I don't get this one. Shame and pity. Get drop pity. him, he's a rape. And Sebastian Gorka. What a fantastic opening! Good lord! Now it sounds like I might be making an accusation there. Not yet. Uh, but like I said, we're going to treat this with the seriousness it deserves. Okay, drop him, he's a racist and an anti-Semite. Drop him, he's a racist and an anti-Semite. That's, okay, so... Yeah, that's a tactic admission. Alright, fine. I'm cool with it if you're gonna be honest with it. You know, I got respect for that. I've been doing this YouTube thing for a good bit now, and I've been watching YouTube for even longer. And because of this, I've accumulated a galaxy brain level knowledge of the internet. I remember one of the biggest appeals for me for a while was that unlike TV, YouTube didn't have advertisements. And when it did, they weren't obnoxious. Whereas TV would have a five minute ad break every 15. Oh, speaking of which. The views expressed within Turkey Tom's and Celiac Attack's channels do not represent the views of the PepsiCo Corporation. Minutes or so, YouTube had maybe one 30 second ad every other video. In fact, a large number of videos from smaller creators didn't even have advertisements because YouTube didn't offer ads to be placed on just anyone's videos. A very small pool of YouTubers were given that privilege and could collect money from ad okay. revenue, including yeah. a few names that you may- You're just giving us a history lesson? Recognize like Fred and Smosh, some of the finest artists and uh- <laughs> Uh, talented film what is makers of our time but as time has gone on holy shit talented filmmakers of our time but as time has gone wow that's a young philly d <laughs> gone on ads have become increasingly more prevalent on the site and on the internet in Hey, yeah. Uh, General. Wait a second. But as time has gone on, ads have become increasingly more prevalent on the site and on the- Hot anime women are in your area. What, do you not like anime women? What, are you gay? What, are you a fag? Try not to neat. That's nice. Internet in general, with companies realizing <laughs> lots of people go here. In fact, more people are going here than watching TV. Oh, look at that. You could have picked any late night clip, but he picked one with Seth Rogen. Very unabashedly Jewish man. ...are going here than watching TV. We should find some way to make money off of all these poor losers. Because we should people. make money. <laughs> opened up Good a lord. ...to a larger number of people. Just laying it on here, Turkey. Well, then, through a few rather unfortunate controversies, mostly involving our main man Felix, a number of large companies pulled out of YouTube's ads program for fear of having their product associated with content that could be seen as rather edgy or not ad-friendly. In a nutshell, they did 
You just call them Nazis, my guy. I didn't want Coca-Cola to be advertised before a video where some gamer words were being used. What a fucking n- This was mostly because news outlets reached out to advertisers and attempted to stir up controversy amongst the media. Ah, there it is. Gotta defend PewDiePie. This was mostly because news outlets reached out to advertisers and attempted to stir up controversy amongst the media community in an effort to harm PewDiePie and YouTube's bottom line, and presumably so that they could scrounge up a few extra clicks on their dying venues. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe people are just upset that the largest guy on the platform is... Having videos where he holds up a sign saying death to all Jews. Gee, I don't think that's like a hard, that's not a, that's a very low bar. You know, he, but people like PewDiePie can't even reach it. Speaking of which, here's another fucking ad. Plan your strength. Raid Shadow Legends. I love it. I don't play mobile games and I never will. I played Bejeweled once on my iPhone 4. Years And people just aren't making money like they were back in 2015 and 2016. As a result of this shortage, a number of creators have decided to look for other ways to support themselves. Hence the topic of today's video. I mean, that's called capitalism. You just expect. <laughs> now you may be asking, Tom, isn't it less? Less than advantageous for someone who wants to make money or have any success on YouTube to make a video criticizing the use of sponsors or making fun of them. Because no, I'm not asking that, you fucking wordsmith. Just get to the Jewish part. Yes, yes it is. Is making money fun for me? They're another Jew! I mean, maybe a little bit, but it's more fun to burn bridges with any chance of future success that I would have. I'm sure that you guys have seen a number <laughs> of creators taking advantage of the money to I'm be made sorry. out here through a it's, myriad of- It's amazing that, like, everything he says is, is so incredibly boring, but then he puts- it's amazing that everything he says is just so incredibly boring. Like, <laughs> wait, <laughs> this is a, people don't watch your videos. Like, it's very obvious people aren't watching the videos for what you have to say. They're watching it for the Nazi shit that you sprinkle in. Of companies. One of the most common sponsors that I've seen lately is Honey, the web extension that is totally free and will let you save money for free. It's Honey! Honey is a free browser add-on available on Google. Websites Oprah, are paying Firefox, Honey to so make sure you can watch free browser Honey is a free browser Honey is a free browser Honey is a free this is what schizophrenic people hear all the time. No, no. I'm not sure just how gullible people have become, but I tend to operate under the assumption. Oh God, I spit on my monitor with that. Uh -huh. <laughs> then nothing is actually free. Generally speaking, if a company is offering free coupons for shopping online and it involves installing some software of some kind in your uh -huh. computer, they're stealing uh -huh. your information and using uh -huh. it to market products to you, or they're selling it to other companies who. God, we're gonna have to like cut out a lot of this because it's just boring. There's nothing for me to say. Track the products you purchase and websites you visit and cater content to reflect that. Not to mention a decent amount of people that have used the product have talked about it online and how they basically received one $5 discount and were never able to save money with it again. In case you don't know, Honey is a free browser extension that saves you money when you shop online. Speaking of good old Shane, Get the fuck out! you may remember when he made an eight-part series about Jake Paul and talked extensively about the possibility that he was a sociopath, which furthered the process of making this term a buzzword that 14-year-old e-girls can use on Twitter whenever someone acts mildly insensitive. One of the most interesting- Really? Wait, wait, people actually watch the Shane Dawson thing? Interesting things about the video where he pushes a borderline fictitious psychological- Wait, 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 let me play that again, what? Like, like, I don't even understand. I remember when he say. made an eight part series about Jake Paul and talked extensively about the possibility that he was a sociopath, which furthered the process of making this term a buzzword that 14 year old e-girls can use on Twitter whenever someone acts mildly insensitive. One of the- You picking fights with 14 year olds? <laughs> The most interesting things about the video where he pushes a borderline fictitious psychological diagnosis from a woman who is by no means an expert on psychology was when he showed for the company BetterHelp. This is something I really think is great and something I actually really believe in. So BetterHelp is a service and an app where you can get affordable you? private online counseling whenever you want. Yeah, I'm sure that you really do believe in that service, Shane. Big guy, big fella. I bet you really are. The fuck was that? Our frequent user of the product, and that you're not pushing it to your potentially mentally ill fans in an effort to make money off of them. Oh wait, it was a scam- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. That you're not pushing it to your potentially mentally ill fans in an effort to make money off of them. Oh- Oh, look at that! It's Nicholas Fuentes. You know. The Nazi. 
But see like Jack, you call everybody Nazis. <sighs> well, maybe I do. Maybe uh, you need to uh, examine yourself and ask, uh, why is it all these people keep calling me Nazis? Why is it all these homosexuals keep sucking my cock? <laughs> Away. It was a scam and was posing a huge danger to those who used it. Hence the giant YouTube controversy around it. So what's wrong with- I don't even know what better help better is. Help. And you know what? I don't really give a shit. Shane, big guy, homie, there's a YouTube editor. You can cut that part out of the video. Oh wait. Is my face like blocking him? Oh it is. Let me show you guys um, his horrendous looking face. Yeah, I know. <laughs> What is it about, like, anime avatars? Like, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest here, Turkey Tom. I think I can beat up your avatar. I think I can take him. You can pay one of your interns to do it. <laughs> it's not hard. If I were you, I'd also delete all of your tweets showing it and promoting it once again to a large audience of impressionable underage fans. Not everyone is a no one cares. Black sold internet loser like me who doesn't trust giant YouTubers. It would maybe be wise to get rid of this big guy. Shane Dawson was also why a guest. Why does he? Why does he keep saying like big guy before we get to the next part here? Like that's weird. Oh God. Why does he keep saying like? Big guy, big fella. That's weird. That was a rhetorical question and a leading one. I actually have another point to make. So uh, about a month ago, he did a stream with some other people called uh, the, the Quran stream. Yeah. So a month ago, one month ago, I guess an alternate channel of his did a stream called the Quran stream. Quran? I don't know how he's trying to pronounce it. I don't really care. Let's see if we can get this to a point where, like, it makes sense. He really wasn't, you know, uh, say what you will about bread tubers and their politics. A lot of them are very talented people, I think. And a lot of them, you know, make well, thank very you. You know, well edited videos with good production quality. Quentin has never been like that. He's Some of them are entertaining. Are, I'll give them that, yeah. Uh, 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 oh, yeah, for sure. And, you know, Quentin tried sort of artificially inserting himself into that community by not only disavowing people, but also making tweets like, you know, if you're a Nazi, unsubscribe from me or things like that, which, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, it's okay if you hate Nazis. I don't really care. That's not really a bad take. You know, it's like it's like you know, we should hate Nazis probably, uh, or maybe if not hate them, we should say they're wrong. Um, but the thing about what he did in particular was he he just started making videos like he made this video that was like twenty minutes long about contra points about how she like oh. saves the internet. Yeah, I uh, saw that. which which was which was terrible. Uh, it, it was a ter terrible terrible video. A really big artificial attempt to insert himself into that community, and I think ultimately. Uh, a lot of that was that was made because he wants to have sex with ContraPoints, probably. Um, which you, know, you, uh, if you want to if you, if you want to fuck traps, there's no issue with that. I don't care, but <laughs> you know. And there we have it. <laughs> I know that that the last several videos I've made, the subjects have all had like really weird Freudian stuff going on. And I, this isn't like it, it's not been an intentional decision on my part. It, it, it's just these people that just can't help it. <laughs> oh wait a minute! I think I'm. I think he wants me to get mad. Hold on, hold on. I can get. I can get mad. I can get mad. I got just the thing for you, boy. Hold on. It's. It was just graphics cards, nobody cares. <laughs> Sharp stones, KitchenAid, whatever that is. A toaster. You wanna talk about that? I'm fucking ready for you. I'm fucking ready. You you know wait a minute. I'm right handed. We need to we need to arm the left. <laughs> uh point being we have enough. Enough information here about the character of this guy. <laughs> oh God. Where even was I? I don't even remember. <laughs> now, I could go, th now there's a bunch of other stuff in that stream that like you could point out that's like, yeah, that's kind of sketch. But honestly, I don't even care. It's fucking boring ass people. I think that that's just like the one, the one real thing that's like, wow. <laughs> You're giving away the inner machinations of your mind there. He understands the absurdity of his replies. Blah.
Let's trust go. giant YouTubers. It would maybe be wise to get rid of this big guy. So when he says stuff like, yeah, big guy, even though he's hiding behind the anime avatar of, yeah, probably best in school shooter. Uh, <laughs> if we could, we, it says a certain thing about what's going on up here. Anyway, let's continue with the bullshit. As a black-pilled internet loser like me who doesn't trust giant YouTubers, it would maybe be wise to get uh -huh. rid of this big guy. Shane Tell Dawson. me about your feelings. Someone was also a guest on one of the worst podcasts ever, being Ethan Klein's H3 podcast. Today's guest is a that wonderful, bad? prolific, hilarious, talented I actually don't Shane Dawson. Watch it. <laughs> Uh, recently passed 12 million subscribers on your now main channel. Wasn't this like one of the first- Ethan and Ela Klein are two members of the YouTube channel H3H3 Productions, as I'm sure most of you are already aware. Yeah. For years, they were at the top of the YouTube chain, being pretty much universally liked. And despite a few mistakes along the way, they managed to maintain this image of being some of the most likable people on the platform for years. However, oh no. sometime at the end of last year- However, they were evil, naughty, chronic Jews! <laughs> he had managed to divide his fan base into two groups. Those who still supported Ethan, and saw all the criticism being thrown towards him as the sum of nitpicking and menial complaints. 100%, what do you want to bet uh, Turkey Tom makes the exact same excuse and answer for when people give him criticism, huh? <laughs> Those who actively felt that Ethan had made a number of mistakes that needed to be acknowledged by the big man himself, especially considering that he could now be considered guilty of a number of the things that he used to criticize others for, and had abandoned most of his values once he got to the top. Without getting into a ton of like specific- Like what? Whoa, wait a minute, what? ...used to criticize others for, and had abandoned most of his values once he got to- What's with the fist? What- What are you trying to say here? ...to the top. Without getting into a ton of specifics, it was pretty bad, but be sure- but he haven't given any specifics. He haven't given a single explanation. What has he done that he used to criticize others for? You think like one thing. Be sure to check out Gokunaru's video about the subject. If no, don't check out Gokunaru's video. It was well put together, but no, don't do it. He was very clearly trying to copy Content Cop without actually understanding the reasons and the nuances behind Content Cop. He's pointing a gun at him. Well, this is, this is kind of weird. Like in the Content Cop videos, he just, the only like gun that was used was shooting a gnome that was dressed to look like Keemstar. He didn't actually go and point a make an image of him pointing a gun at someone like this. While these videos seemingly snowballed into some of the biggest YouTube drama of last year, just a year later, they have seemingly managed to duck away from most of this criticism after a lengthy apology from Ethan. Or people who were making videos. Yeah, most of it like wasn't like a real criticism. All the things I mentioned, because yeah, it's it is all in here. Everything you guys have said bad about me and that you've noticed, all my bad personality traits and all that, it is, it's all in here. A bit of a regroup for the two in a lot of ways, and I was happy to see that they were doing better. In fact, I had plans to make a video about Ethan's sort of redemption arc because I appreciated him changing for the better a lot. I used to enjoy his videos and a lot of the contributions from him to the community as a whole, and I saw him as a force for good. Wow, so I thought, wow, you know, it was wow. neat to see him recognize. I don't care about your nice feelings. Mistakes. That being said, <laughs> almost nothing has changed in the past year, particularly in regards to the podcast. One of the biggest criticisms- Yeah, who cares? This is back if, don't watch it! ...in the day was that there were way too many sponsors on the show. Nowadays, he has cut down on sponsors for sure, but honestly, I don't think he needs them at all. The H3 podcast probably already makes close to 100k per episode, with the number of revenue- Really? New streams from Twitch subscribers, Twitch ads, YouTube ads on the actual podcast, YouTube ads on the highlights that they post. They probably already make a good fifty thousand dollars per episode. I think that they yeah, could I think that's that's a stretch. Probably do without the sponsored messages. You don't let me guess. A lot of you don't believe me. Okay, they just purchased a nine million dollar home. Ah, uh, I'm willing to bet a good amount of their income is directly from the podcast. It's the Jews <laughs> taking money. You can't, you can't help it. These guys are not the little wholesome YouTubers that we loved before. They are extremely wealthy celebrities with connections to Hollywood and the entertainment industry. With connections to Hollywood and the entertainment industry? What is that supposed to mean? Like, okay, they purchased a $9 million Bel Air mansion. Good for them. Is this a mansion? Is this, I don't know. It's a nice looking house. Nicer than any house I've lived in. But is it a mansion? I guess it's got a pool that probably qualifies as a mansion, right? Yes. These guys are not the little wholesome YouTubers that we loved before. They are extremely wealthy celebrities with connections to Hollywood and the entertainment industry. However, they- I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's a Jew thing. Do I really need to explain that there's like a Nazi thing where they're like, Oh, Hollywood's full of Jews. Do I? I guess Turkey Tom's turning into ER light. Oh, look. 
Another ad. However, they still manage to fuck up any interaction they have with someone who has a real audience. Not to mention the show is complete fucking garbage. You just don't watch it. The movie. See, like, my criticisms are like, you have 100,000 subscribers and you're wielding your influence doing bad things. <laughs> That's the main thing with it. Bad things like anti-Semitism. The movie is being slammed by most critics yet. A lot of critics have reviewed it favorably. Wait, it's hold a on. dangerous movie. That's not true. I was on Rotten Tomatoes yesterday. It's got 69%. And families of the 2012 movie theater shooting in Aurora, Aurora where the guy like jo dressed up as Joker. <laughs> no, he wasn't actually dressed up. As I, Joker. Well, he dyed his hair. He yeah, was, it was like, during a Batman screening, and he like threw. It was nuts. You know what's funny about Elliot Rodriguez? He wasn't even that bad looking. It's like you're just a creep, bro. Uh, it, it's Elliot Roger. For someone who used to be a champion of small creators and take taking down corporate YouTube, it sure is weird that Ethan has now become basically well. What what does any of that have to do with him being a corporate YouTube? What? It sure is weird that Ethan has now become basically well, corporate YouTube. Is he part of the establishment? With some of the serious stuff out of the way, I think it's best to talk about mobile game advertisements. The two most popular ones being Viking. I really want to die. Let's see. This is 2020. This is either the year I get back into opioids or it's the year I become a gun for hire. What's it going to be? With some of the serious stuff out of the way, I think it's best to talk about mobile game advertisements. The two most popular ones being Vikings, War of Clans, and Raid Shadow Legends. Care. I'm just going to get... Oh, there we are. White nationalist John Tron. I've lost count to how many like little nods there are to Nazis in this video at this point. I have seen so many people promoting these two games to the point where if I see someone doing an ad for them, I just click off the video and go watch something else. Like I probably should have. And by extension, you. The bald fucker Matthew Santoro did an epic the bald ad. fucker? Ad for Raid Shadow Legends. Hey friends, today's video is sponsored Thanks by the brand new hat. mobile game uh, Raid Shadow Legends. Which is the first minute of his 12 minute video about 50 amazing facts to blow your mind. Raid is a brand new. <laughs> you were just looking at your spare time. 50 amazing facts to blow your mind. <laughs> collection rpg game with an amazing storyline like that's not a video and I'm awesome gonna 3D click. graphics giant boss fights and more than 400 champions for you to collect and personally customize raids graphics and storyline are comparable to triple a console releases but the game is free to play oh so that means it's horrible <laughs> the storyline is comparable to triple a releases that means it's a horrible storyline Am I right, folks? Hey, <laughs> and it's got an almost perfect score on the Play Store. Are you really going to even try to pretend that this is the game of the century? Do you expect me to take it from your dumb, bald, plagiarizing fucking mouth that Raid Shadow Le Dumb, bald, plagiarizing? Who is this guy again? Oh, so he's just like plagiarizing lists when he says 50 amazing facts to blow your mind? Yeah, that that is kind of scummy, but like... I don't know, so much content on YouTube is just shit. Why do you care? Honestly, it sounds like uh, Raid Shadow Legends is the perfect game for someone who might watch one of these videos. Like you, Turkey Tom. Ever. And just for the meme, I decided that I would download this game and play it and that- OH HE- <laughs> As a surprise, it is just as dog shit as I had anticipated. And no, the graphics are not on par with most AAA releases. This game's great if you like to choose your own playstyle. Want to use diplomacy and teamwork to get ahead? Go on. Want to dominate and destroy cities or build a badass fortress? That works too. It's you just can just tell Civ that five. he's trying. Just play Civ Five. Civ Five is better in every possible way. Behind his eyes, you can I see that he's just ready anymore. to die. Oh, look, it's my favorite developer, <gasps> Plarium. Oh no, God! No! God. Here it is, boys and girls, and everybody that lies in betwinks and elsewhere. Made by Plarium, an Israeli mobile game publisher. Oh no! God! We have Michael Scott screaming no. And no! Israeli. God, please! And we have USS Liberty being highlighted. The USS Liberty, of course, was an attack on a Navy ship by the Israeli military. Yeah, there's a Wikipedia page for it. You can see the... Uh, <laughs> You, yeah, you can probably see why Nazis would care about this. This is like really weird 
to just bring this up. You're, you're talking about like why you don't like game apps advertising on YouTube videos. And now you're talking, now all of a sudden you're talking about USS Liberty. Like this isn't something that just happens by coincidence or this is just you being funny. This is very specifically a Nazi thing. Like think of the average person on the street. Ask them, hey, do you know about the USS Liberty? They're going to look at you and be like, why would I care? Of, why? What are you talking about? But I mean, well, it's, uh, the state of Israel attacks the US. Oh, boy. <laughs> that is uh, mwah, ripe for a very specific kind of person to be talking about. This doesn't contribute anything or go anywhere. Why are we still here? Uh, we have the Phantom Pain. We have the Flag of Israel. Every night, I, can I don't like remember what this is. Such and that's it. Um, there's no joke. There's no continuation from it. It's just, ha ha, juice. That's it. That's all there is. Uh, absolutely pathetic. Be sure to leave a comment down below telling me if you liked it or didn't like it, and follow my friend who is okay. not me on Twitter. I've been Turkey Tom, and until next time, leave me alone. Yeah, okay. That's probably a good idea. I should probably just leave you alone in the first place. But we're gonna, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna leave a comment, because you said, if you don't like this, feel free to leave a comment. So we're gonna leave a comment. Hey, yo, what is it with little Nazi betas like you hiding behind anime avi avatars? I'm pretty sure I saw you before when I was leaving your mother's bedroom. Oh, wait, no, that was some spare jizz that I left on her face. I guess the vasectomy didn't work because I know for a damn fact the rest of my sperm could beat your ass. I don't know if you knew this, but sometimes when you eat some gluten-free flowers, it makes your cum kind of smell different. And that shit is so high in protein, you think it was a GMO, but it wasn't. It was my jizz. I'm your daddy. Go to your room. There's the comment. You're, you're welcome. So thanks for watching this, I guess. Uh, we're going to give a uh, thanks to the patron backers now. I'm really grateful for all of you. <laughs> An extra special thanks goes to Critch, Dios, Elsie Hub, Jerry Pulamo, Letty G, I assume that's it, Susie M, and Uncle Quail. Thanks, guys. Uh... Go hunt some turkey. I recognize you for what you are, you filthy trash.